Hello, everyone. My name is Marissa Connors, and I'm a Cincinnati-based fashion designer and I am the founder of my namesake fashion line Marissa Connors, also known as MC. My namesake fashion line provides unique, fashionable, and affordable designs for not only women, but especially those who have a physical disability. I am so pleased to share my story behind the launch of my unique fashion business. I'm hoping to share my story and how dreams can come true while amazing the world. I believe that many people don't fully understand the impact having a disability entails. Assumptions are made. My disability doesn't let me down from doing anything that I have to do. I want to teach the world to focus on ability, not disability. I strive to inspire many others with an amazing attitude and positive expression. I'm never going to be afraid of my dreams but I can always do anything, no matter what. When I was three, I used to play fashion games on a computer. At about age five, six, I started dreaming about becoming a fashion designer while playing these games. These fashion PC games were Barbie fashion show, beauty studio, and even more that I loved. I still have many of these computer games. Therefore, I discovered that I have a passion for designing unique fashion. I took many sewing, graphic, and fashion design classes at Oak Hills High School. My teacher taught me to have pride in my work. My first sewing project was a scarf made of old shirts dark peach and aqua blue. She thought it was so fabulous and it was displayed in the school hall. I felt so special and it was one of my favorite fashion memories. <laughs> I learned how to use Adobe Creative Software at that time. I typically use Adobe Photoshop and other graphic design software to create stylish clothes and accessories using my computer iPad. I have yeah. always loved viewing the golden age fashion, 1930s negative 1970s, and everything Disney which I would use some inspiration to create original designs. To initiate my career, I attended college for art and graphic design so, I needed. After two one half years, I realized that the college didn't offer the classes I needed to fulfill my career choice, so I left. After many months of pondering and frustration, I decided to be self-taught in order to have a career in fashion design. Self-teaching was a perfect choice for following my dreams. Each day, I can't wait to design something for my fashion line. I have a disability called cerebral palsy. I was born with a disability which affects four of my limbs and it leaves me nonverbal. I use a wheelchair for long distance. I've been worrying about living with a disability. I feel somewhat uncomfortable frustrated because CP has stopped me from doing so many things. I try to compensate whenever I can but, it's hard to adjust to my life with a disability in its way. Having a disability doesn't keep me from wanting to give up. Despite the challenges of my disability, I'm eternally grateful that I'm able to navigate my life and business. I still have doubts it is human nature. I communicate through iPad and alphabetical charts as well as AAC boards. I created customizable fashion AAC boards. My disability never let me down from pursuing my dreams, but I feel like I'm going to do something great as long as I can. It doesn't matter if I don't get stronger every day as just long as I can always do my best. Along with disability comes obstacles. Disability plus obstacles equals strength. Besides wanting to be a fashion designer, I always had the desire to be a role model and motivational speaker. Even though I am nonverbal, I can speak by leading through example. I want disabled individuals to know they too, have strengths and dreams like normal people. Dreams do come true. It is the responsibility of all humans to recognize the strengths in others and to find a place in society for these strengths to shine. My parents, especially, my mom, have been advocates for me and my rights. Stares, ignorance and inappropriate comments have never been tolerated by them. Both of my parents are educated and have made ADA laws a priority for me. With love and support like this, I can't help but be strong. It is my belief that during or shortly after birth, if you had to struggle to survive, your soul knows this. It gives you an inner strength to survive because you somehow know you are a survivor and it stays with you for life. I'm a highly skilled visual learner because I have exceptional visual abilities and photographic memory. I can visualize everything in designing fashion and styling. 
Those abilities are extraordinary I... gifts that are unlike any other. I couldn't be lucky enough to be able to achieve accomplishments, despite my challenges. I started attending Metzger in October, 2018. I previously attended Stepping Stones from June, 2017, to February, 2019. I chose Metzger over Stepping Stones because Metzger offers more outings, activities, and participants of my age. I felt ignored at my previous program. Metzger is the best adult day program ever. During a typical day, usually exercise especially, on a chair bike which is my favorite workout regime at Metzger. I also love helping out with all the staff and participants. The Metzger family is always respectful and fun each and every day. I'm beyond grateful to be part of the Metzger family. The hardest part of my journey so far is when the COVID-19 pandemic began. Almost every event and large gatherings were cancelled or delayed unexpectedly due to the impact of the pandemic. I felt like I was trapped not just in the home, but in a minsum. It was the worst thing I've ever lived through. At the time, I was initially planning to start my own business but the crisis forced me to delay my launch of the business. Many businesses were struggling to remain open during the pandemic. One minute, I was ready to start my career, and the next, it stopped. This year has been much better and offers more hope. The vaccine rollout looks like it may be a new beginning of normalcy. I'm so grateful to survive the pandemic and I'm so happy to be able to start living my dream this year. The best part of my journey so far is my strength, confidence, motivation, and learning from past mistakes failures. I know I'm a fabulous fashionista. I have not allowed my disability to stand in the way of what I want and like to do. For instance, I love to travel with my friends and or family. Last year, despite the pandemic, I was able to make it to three driving vacations. I have captured my photo shoots while on the trip. My favorite was Virginia Beach. While there, I sat in a wheelchair made for the sand and beach. The photos of me standing behind a fence in front of the beach were captured. For some reason, I believe that the sunshine brightened my outlook on life that shone in my eyes that day as well as the courageous smile depicted in the photo. I truly felt like a great model and fashionista. Everyone has struggles it's how you deal with them. I always have a purpose in life. The most important thing I've learned is people with developmental disabilities have a hard time finding a way to dress themselves that makes them look more comfortable and unique. I imagine that someone becomes frustrated, upset, or bored because they wouldn't be able to get uncomfortable things to wear. However, I would be happy to help make people of all abilities dressing easier. As well, I can create something to adapt clothes to make someone more comfortable and functional in their needs. I want people of all abilities to feel special wearing a garment without limitations or difficulties. Another lesson I have learned is, start small, dream big. Everyone makes me happy, usually. My motto is happiness is a state of mind which means that my cerebral palsy doesn't affect me cognitively. My brain stays happy, creative, and intelligent. For good reason, I can always be happy if I'm able to achieve my personal and life goals. My parents have always supported my dream. I'm sure that my family, friends, those at Metzger, and fans of my fashion passion will support my dream and career as much as possible. I also need to acknowledge that all but a few of my teachers professors along the way, have gone above and beyond to show their support. I focus on ability, not disability. I believe in having a purpose in life every day. Each day, I look at myself in the mirror, and am proud of what I see. Success doesn't contribute to my positivity. Thank you. I hope you enjoy viewing my story. Follow me at Mary Sackiner's Fashion on Facebook and Instagram. Check out my website below. I'm looking forward to hearing from you.